We showed you full highlights of this sensational game in Philly last night. Bucks and Sixers. Giannis out dueling Embiid in a game that came down to the final shot. Giannis blocking Embiid right there to clinch it. Giannis finished with 40 and the Bucks won it on the road 118-116. In Brooklyn, Nets needed a rally to get by the Pistons last night. Kevin Durant had a huge game scoring 41. Kyrie Irving had 24. The Nets won it by seven. Uh, out in Los Angeles, Paul George made his return, playing for the first time since December, scored 34. Clippers beat the Jazz, overcoming a 25-point deficit to knock off Utah. And then, speaking of Los Angeles, there were the Lakers, who were playing without LeBron James last night against the Mavericks. L.A. gave up 82 points in the first half and eventually lost by 18. It wasn't nearly that close as LeBron and A.D. were both watching the action, and what they saw was their team fall out of the playoffs and the play in completely for the first time since October 23rd the Lakers are not top 10 in their own conference and our analytics give them just a 25 percent chance of even making the play in tournament and as I bring Wendy back here and Monica McNutt's gotten up with us early this morning I see the look <laughs> on your face Monica is I don't want to put words in your mouth but you're the one who said it earlier is there even any point in the Lakers making it into the play in at this stage. Please, Greeny, those were my words, and that is my concern. I think you win maybe two games and you get the Phoenix Suns. Congratulations. <laughs> I just think at this point it's better to let it rest, let it lie. And honestly, they may not have a choice in the matter because the teams ahead of them are fighting for something in terms of Pop potentially retiring or the Pelicans who just want to get back to the playoffs. Yeah, the teams ahead of them are just better than they are. That's why the Lakers are where they are, Wendy. And I feel the need to that continue <laughs> to remind people, I know they've had injuries, but everyone has injuries, that this was a team that Vegas considered the favorites in the Western Conference before the season began. How in the world are we here at the end of March? What a boulevard of broken dreams. You remember that photograph that they <laughs> post for on Media Day with those five future Hall of Famers? Yeah. And they're talking about winning the 18th title and finally fulfilling Jerry Buss's dream of passing the Celtics mm -hmm. to, oh, well, when AD gets healthy, you know, we'll get the five or six seed and we'll just put it to, <laughs> oh, we'll, we'll win to the play in. Now, Monica is making a reasoned, rational argument that it's better off if they just miss the play-in tournament. I mean, this has been, I mean, it's happened every day. We watched it every day, so it's not shocking. But if I had laid this out for you in October, you'd have kicked me out of the studio for sure. and questioned why I was still in this job. <laughs> I mean, it is absolutely incredible when you take a step back. And I got to say, if you look forward here, I don't love their chances because the, the, the LeBron is probably not going to play tomorrow in Utah. He, he and AD uh -huh. may come back this weekend. They, okay, tonight the Spurs have to play the Grizzlies. That's a tough one, but Jaws still not playing. Right. Then the, the Spurs' next two games after that are against the Trailblazers at home who are tanking unceremoniously. By this weekend, if LeBron can come off that ankle and AD comes back, they may be functionally down two or three games in yeah. this with the hardest schedule left. With a week left at that point is what it would be. And there you see what the Lakers have left. It's, it's a mess. And so, you know, with a, with a disaster of this magnitude, Monica, there's more than enough blame to go around. And it's been very convenient. The world Certainly. has fixated to a large degree on Russell Westbrook. He has really worn so much of this. But in your view, Monica, where does the blame lie for what has been the most disappointing season in the NBA by far? Well, I think I'm putting heavy as the head that wears the crown. I'm looking at LeBron. It's like 65% in my mind, if all is true, that he had a hand in constructing this roster. Basketball people would sense, Wendy, back me up on this, when this roster came together, we said, oh, this would be cool if it was still, I'll give you 2014, 2013. <laughs> and so from the jump, this team had some serious question marks. And while the numbers that LeBron has put up are fantastic, honestly, empty calories comes to mind a little bit because it hasn't translated in terms of this team finding any success. You know, and Wendy, to amplify that point a little bit, one of the reasons that many of us said, well, it'll work even though the roster construction, we saw the questions in the beginning, was LeBron will figure it out. We had that kind of faith in him. It was his decision to put it together and that he would figure it out. And so maybe that's further illustration of it the point she's making. It wasn't just you who believed that. He believed it. And by the way, he did take yeah. ownership at, on media day when he came out and he goes, I was honored 
that they offered, they wanted me to help build this roster. Mm. He wasn't running from that. So three things have happened. One, Anthony Davis has been hurt for a bench of the year. Yeah. Okay, they weren't going to get a top two seed with Anthony Davis hurt. Two, Russell Westbrook's been a disaster fit. That could have kind of been seen. But three, it was what they lost when they traded Russell Westbrook. It wasn't just the bad fit. Mm -hmm. It was the combination of that. They had the number one defense in the league last year. That is championship level. They gave up 82 points and a half last night. The most points they've given up a half like since they moved to L.A. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.